In the wake of the rainstorm that lasted four hours, calm returns to the streets of Calabar as residents clean up spaces littered with debris. The effect is devastating. Public infrastructure like park cable streetlights are affected. Roofs of offices and residential buildings blown off as well. The General Hospital on Mary Slessor Street is not spared. A video shot at night shows the extent of damage done to facilities in the post-NATO world. Patients in the ward are worried as most newborn babies are forced to endure harsh conditions occasioned by the storm. The rain come with wind, we soak and the up was uh, leaking. It leaked up the water from window. We soak here all babies, mothers, some women that are bringing the theater. They soak. One was struggling to stand up. Safe. The attention of the Cross River State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Beta Edu, is drawn. She offers words of comfort to patients and staff. While I was coming in here, I saw that the glass at the theater was shattered. Um, I also saw that some of the windows on my way here were equally affected. They were all shattered by that storm. So really we'll walk on the roof and then we'll change all the windows almost immediately. Um, for us, the priority is the patients, their comfort, the quality of care which they receive, and the confidence that they have in the health system to deliver quality health care to them. That's what we really need to work on. The University of Calabar is also caught in the web of the storm. The destruction is massive here leaving most of the buildings, including the medical college, the postgraduate school, faculty of education, printing press, the senate chambers, as well as lecture halls and hostels in a sorry state. Most of us had to sleep on the floor because of that. And because of that, we don't have electricity supply. The vice chancellor takes a tour of affected areas shocked at what she sees. I've just gone around our printing press. Oh my God, it's so sad. We've just invested so much in the printing press. In fact, I will say here that the, the bank had to give the printing press because we want to make it a commercial venture. I'm loan to fix that and most of the equipment are destroyed. Just here is uh, the new medical uh, uh, college building. In fact, the part that is destroyed, they were just handed over. In fact, it has not even been handed over. It has not been handed over. We just came like two weeks ago to inspect the facilities and um, were to do a formal handing over. That's what has happened. I don't know what else to say than perhaps to call on um, uh, well-meaning Nigerians. Alumni, please come to our aid. The management of the institution is hoping the prompt intervention will come its way soon. For now, the cleanup continues. Many assume that the rainstorm is one of the worst in recent years. That's where we draw the curtain on this week's edition of Eyewitness Report. Thanks for watching. See you same time next week. I am Yomi Otaibi.